It's a story time again. Long long ago in a forest there lived two friends, a crane and a fox. Once these two friends met and had a conversation. The crane said, "Hey buddy, how are you?" The fox replied, "Hey dude, thank you. I'm fine. I came here to invite you for tomorrow's birthday party. Please do come." The crane was happy. Oh, is it? Tomorrow is your birthday? Fine, I'll be there. I won't miss your birthday party. So, let's catch up tomorrow. See you then. Bye. Next day, the fox had prepared some yummy and delicious soup and was eagerly waiting for the crane to come. Welcome, my dear friend. The crane came and wished the fox Hey buddy wish you many many happy returns of the day Oh thank you so much see what i have prepared for you Look i have prepared your favorite soup The crane smelled and said hmm smells so yummy i can't wait any more The fox said okay okay why delay let's start the dinner While the fox was enjoying the dinner the poor crane could not reach to the soup as it was served in a bowl it tried many times but failed It was the master plan of the cunning fox it was silently watching the crane later it asked hey buddy i finished my bowl of soup why don't you Oh I can't reach up to this bowl my beak is too long to reach there I can't bend what to do my dear fox the fox cunningly smiled and said don't worry I'll have your bowl of soup too it silently came and had the bowl of soup which was served to the crane also the crane felt very bad and disappointed it walked away from the fox house thinking to teach the fox a good lesson The crane was very upset on what happened on the fox birthday party. It somehow wanted to teach that fox a good lesson. The fox saw the crane and came running. "Hey buddy, what's up?" The crane said, "I'm fine, dude. Why don't you come to my house? We'll have a nice dinner party and spend good time together." "What do you say?" The fox was very happy. Oh fine I enjoy the dinner parties so the crane said fine then the party is fixed see you in the evening bye take care both left for their respective houses that evening the crane had prepared some soup and served them in two long jars and was waiting for the fox The fox had arrived. The crane welcomed the fox. "Welcome, my dear friend. The dinner is ready. So let's have them." While the crane was happily enjoying the soup, the fox couldn't have the soup as it was in a long jar. The crane finished its jar of soup and asked, "Hey buddy, why are you silent? Why don't you have the soup?" The fox said, The jar is too lengthy. I can't put my spout inside to reach to the soup. The crane did exactly what the fox did. It came and had the other jar of soup too. The fox then realized what a mistake it had done to the crane. It was sorry for the crane and walked away. So children, what do we learn from today's story? What we sow, so we reap. We should not hurt anyone. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you.